I'm here on the Gold Coast today to take you guys through one of our Renault School student Tennille's beautiful waterfront canal home. Let's go and have a look. Tenille. I'm so excited to show you around today. Oh, thank you for having me. You're so welcome. And who do we have here? This is Hudson. Oh, Hudson. My pride and joy. Oh, Say hi, Hudson. Yeah, well, Hudson, hello. <laughs> oh my Come gosh, I don't know where to start. This beautiful sitting room hits you as you come in. I just want to sit down. Absolutely. I mean, look at it. It's so inviting and no TV, which I love. No TV and just beautiful texture. It was oh deliberate for us to keep really a neutral colour palette. Oh, the micro cement. It's stunning. So I worked with an amazing artesian, Josh, yes. who I love. He's worked on so many pieces of this home. and you just want to touch it. It's beautiful. And it just gives beautiful texture to the space as well. Oh it God, is I the most these. comfortable chair you'll ever sit on. It's one of my favourites. <laughs> Oh, I haven't even got past the first room and I think I found my favourite chair. And the view, I think every room we go into, we're going to see that water, aren't we? Uh, so the feeling we wanted to make in this house was mm. like you're on a yacht, like you're on top yeah. of the water. Yeah. So you feel very connected to the water, yeah. connected to the view, connected to nature. Oh, this is I'm the wow sure factor, hence why we went so minimal with all of the decor, because your eyes really are taken there. They're taken there. Oh, my eyes taken here. I love this. <laughs> we call this my jellyfish yeah. pendant. Yeah. I just get a visual in my head that I want a pendant with yeah. plants in it, and it just wasn't available, so we just so made it. Create it because so, you're heavily involved with the design of a lot of things here, aren't you? Not, Absolutely. It's not just the features and fittings we see. That's a good example. Yeah. Lots of storage. It's yes. really light bright, airy, yet yeah, there are a lot of sharp corners, so I really wanted to soften it, hence mm. the lights and hence the arch mirror. Now this looks like a custom piece to me. So I love mixing old with new, yes. antiques with beautiful new furniture. I think in life, if you can repurpose or remodel something that's so old and iconic, mm. you absolutely should. Yeah, that's it. I love it when people do mix those sentimental pieces or old, you know, they've got a story to them. Yes. With all of their new bits and pieces in the home. So I, I, I see a lot of new things outside. I have to come out. Yes. And look. As I said, we wanted to feel really connected to the water as though you are one with water, like you're floating on top of it. So we've got the sun setting over this way? Yes. Yes, yes. So we're north facing get my here. orientation yeah. facing. <laughs> oh gosh, it would be spectacular. And Tanil, I'd love to go and have a little bit of a closer look at the pool. Absolutely, let's. This it is how we here. purchased it. It was yes, here, so we didn't have to I... do anything to it, except we have majorly changed all of the landscaping. Got you. But I think the original owners did an amazing spectacular oh, job because when you are in the water you look out to the water and then out to oh, the yeah. view so there's so many different dimensions and elements to the view which we love absolutely the owners before us did do a lot of structural work externally yeah. we've repainted we've done a lot of the garden, um, we've changed yeah. all of the doors and windows, mm -hmm. but it was already an amazing structure to so work with. the structure with. was there, yeah. Absolutely. They've gone and done that little bit extra from the cottage, and then you guys have just yeah. made it so beautiful. So, Tanil, when you guys purchased the house, what, what flooring did you have in place? I really wanted to keep these tiles. Um, I think they're just beautifully seamless, they look and, brand new. Yeah, brand new. We've obviously cleaned them extensively, but yes. just the texture and the colour, it was just perfect for the it, time. It, it really worked really well. That's a huge, um, huge saving. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the floors in place, because there's not too many houses you'll get that you're going to do such a big cosmetic change to, and you're happy with the flooring. This is my office, um, because I do have a lot of you know clients or yeah. meetings, and rather than take them through the main part of the house, they can mm. just easily access separate the, entrance. Room, the separate entrance. Yeah. I want to show you stuff. my husband's office, so come That's on good. through. 
I love oh, this space. This is it's cool. such a different vibe. It's very, very masculine. masculine. That's Absolutely. It. Look at that. Damn, where did you this get that desk, from? let me tell you, this is one of the originals. Timothy Alton, okay. the designer. Yeah. And this is actually inspired by the original 1960s bomber jet, the Valkyrie. So I can it's see called the Valkyrie the Desk. Yes. And I love again it ages oh, beautifully it. over time. It's dented, it's scratched, it's yeah. lived all around the world with us. And oh. it's beautiful. Gosh, you're very clever at the styling. Thank you. <laughs> Not just renovating, styling as well. Upstairs to the sleeping quarters. Absolutely. But first we need to stop by this amazing room. Oh, look at this. And if we hold our time. Here. So as you can see, it's a tri-story house, so the yeah. view is different on every level. I have a love-hate relationship with technology. Okay. I love the idea of a movie room, mm. but I don't want wires hanging out, speakers hanging out. No. So what we did in this renovation, which is really cool, yeah. all of the speakers behind the plaster in every oh. room. So oh my we God, plastered. I've never heard of that. Nobody's ever seen it before. So How all of the speakers are hidden. We just decided on the fly to do it. And so all of the speakers are beautifully hidden. All of the cables are hidden behind the plaster yeah, as well. Yeah, I get the was... cables, but the speakers yes. in the wall. Yes. Okay, this is amazing. And that is in every room. So because we are on the Control 4 system, yeah. we can connect to audio, so have music playing through the walls in any room. That's crazy. And I can see the master suite up there, but let's not go there. Let's go down <laughs> here. So we've got a bedroom, we've got another bedroom, and then we've got the bathroom. Yes. Oh, this is nice. I mean, a lot of people try and achieve this kind of, you know, wet room space. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love the little inset bath. And these towel rails. These are interesting. Very interesting. I had these custom made. They yeah, swing slightly. Bit. There's a little bit of movement, which I like. So if yeah. you get a breeze up here, it does have beautiful movement. So spare bedroom, which you can always have a bit of fun in. I, I find. love designing this. <sighs> Love all your the asymmetrical shapes. mirrors. I, I love bringing in lots of shapes again just to really soften the space. Yeah. This is just every girl's dream dressing table. Honestly, it really my is. My girls would love this. It really is. Because we are an automated home, we automated Same. all of the curtains. So just by a simple press of the button, oh. there we go. How amazing oh, is that? It. So you can not leave your bed and open your curtains, it's turn on your lights, open your doors. It's a super smart house. It's a super it's smart house. It's not just a smart house. Turn on your TVs, have your audio in here house. as well. It's yeah. amazing. All right, now I can see some stairs leading up to the main bedroom yes. up there. Or the, the main bedroom suite, I'm going to imagine. Yes. Okay, leave me up. It is a retreat. So It is. It is. It's got its own <laughs> stairway. This is beautiful. The ceiling height gets me first. Yes. The openness. It's so you you've, you you open over to your ensuite there, and of course the water out there behind. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it's very so open, airy, light, bright. I feel zen when I'm oh, in here. So do you feel I. zen? I feel zen right now. I feel like jumping in that bed and going to sleep, but that's not going to happen. I think this is the nicest bathroom I've ever lived in. This actually, the mirrored backsplash yeah. was originally here when we purchased the home. Love it. And I wasn't sure it wanted to stay. It wasn't really my vibe. It's yeah. kind of, it was very popular in the 70s to yeah, have that mirror yeah, backsplash. Of, yeah. But it survived two demolitions because okay. we had this the first demo. Mirror. Yeah. And we did the tiling. We had a really bad tiler first off. So we had oh, to really demo really everything bad. again and start again from scratch. So it survived painful. two demos and I thought, well, it's good enough to stay. It's good, it's yeah. That. I think it's meant to be here <laughs> if that's the case. So, Tanil, I've left it to last. Your walk in robe. The best part I can of the imagine house. it's spectacular. It's I just feel like it is. So, <laughs> I've kept it very private to this very moment. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know what to say. It takes your breath away. It it's is spectacular. Yeah. You certainly can't miss looking at yourself. I know. <laughs> the reason mirrors. we did all of the mirrors was because we kept that backsplash out there yeah. and it does cast beautiful light in the morning and in the afternoon you get beautiful shadowing oh, like crystal lights. effects you've got the, you've got the sky lights, lights. and yeah I wanted it yeah all, I mean all of the oh. crystal features and we still kept oh, all of the beautiful hardware as well to keep it nice and masculine it's a beautiful I little just glam station and just pretend what it would be like oh my god great lighting storage I won't go through all your drawers but <laughs> Uh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it.
Now, Tanil, your home is spectacular. Thank Honestly, you. you've done such an amazing job. I hope this is not your last reno. I hope there's more to it's come. Not. There's more to come. <laughs> there's a big one to come. Is there? There is. Oh, and I want you to so come back. Exciting. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, my God. <laughs> we can, we can. But I mean, this one has been, um, the transformation is enormous. What What's your biggest learning? I mean, I know you've done reno school and all that, and that, that's learning it on paper, but actually doing it, what will you take to the next Reno? I think for this, the biggest thing I did learn from Reno school was that when you've got such a wow factor mm. of you that you're working yeah. with, Gosh. that less is more, so really pare back, yeah. not as much you know, furniture, neutral tones, mm. that's what I did take away. Um, so hopefully it worked. Oh, well, we certainly nailed that. <laughs> it looks absolutely spectacular. Anyone Thank is lucky to call this their home, so. It Thank is you. a very beautiful place to live. <laughs> Thank you, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me.